Captain and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! This, this could very well be the most impressive film we've ever shown. Not even close. What in God's name are you talking about, old Bean? It's the most unique dinosaur movie ever made. It has pageantry and grandeur and splendor and melodrama and glamour. Hardly. It's an absolute jubilee of prehistoric hysteria. One might even say that it's prehysterical. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Now stop ignoring your viewers and provide them with a proper reception. Yes, I was just thinking I should like to do just that. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. The lovely little sprite off to my port side is the Archduchess of the Polter Manor, the terribly troublesome and terminally teenaged Tangella. And the gloomy and morose bloke on the other side is Livingston, who is normally of an amiable temperament, though who unfortunately views our program as inane, ludicrous, Puerile and nonsensical. Don't forget frivolous. Says the man who continuously listens to records made by Florence Foster Jenkins as she operatically massacres a variety of Mozart's arias. Says the man who thinks that C sharp and D flat are two entirely different notes. And they bloody well are. Unbeknownst to the man with eardrums so untrained, he couldn't differentiate the variance between a violin and a bloody viola. Onward. Tonight we'll take in an amazing film which I can almost guarantee you've never ever seen ever yet before. It's aptly titled Cowgirls vs. Pterodactyls. It was made by our dear friend Joshua Kennedy in 2021 and is the newest film we've ever shown here on Creature Features. It might also wind up to be quite possibly the best. Hmm. Tangela says that this movie is almost as good as Sharknado 3 and could have been even better had it also featured David Hasselhoff and Bo Derek. I thought David Hasselhoff ceased acting after that atrocious hamburger fiasco. Hmm, weird. In any case, the movie is about cowgirls fighting pterodactyls and it shall be quite something to behold, almost like our guests because there is no better way to watch a dinosaur movie than with the cast from Land of the Lost. But joining us tonight will be Will and Holly from that fabulous program. And while the father and Chaka couldn't make it, there is a slight chance we might come across a slee stack. Wesley Yore and Kathy Coleman will tell us all about this fantastic show, clue us in about the Croft convention they recently attended, and opine about tonight's fabulous feature film. So don't go away, because it will be a prehistoric night of dinosaur fright right here on Creature Features. If the sleeve stack sleeves dropping, I shall not be cleaning up after it. Don't worry, I think it's housebroken. <sighs> Stay tuned. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. 
Welcome to Land of the Lost. Nope, that's what we're doing tonight, Land of the Lost. I, I will not call it Creature Features tonight because we are doing Land of the Lost Dinosaur Land. Run. <laughs> run, Holly, run. There's a sleep sack. <laughs> Daddy, do a, something. Yeah, we've we've there's a the dinosaur. Run. Watch out, Holly. See? Watch out. <laughs> I should be the narrator. So Will and Holly went out into the forest. And what's the name of that little dinosaur you used to ride around on? Dopey. Dopey. He was my pet, my baby brontosaurus. Yeah. Anyways, if you have not ascertained yet, we have Will and Holly from Land of the Lost, better known as Kathy Coleman and Wesley Yore. And uh, your name. Yes, yes, Vincent. Your name. Your, yes, your, your, your name. name. Yes, it's mine, not yours. No, it's a wonderful name. Yes. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a splendid name. Now, I, I'd like to know, did you invent the Euro? Uh, no, I, I, I did not. I, but, but I would be gladly to accept some. You yes, no, no. So <laughs> Thank you. We should start the Wesley Your Euro uh, Foundation. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh. No? No, that's silly. Let's talk about tonight's film. <laughs> Cowgirls and pterodactyls. You could not have picked a better film for us. Oh, you know, like pterodactyls, I, didn't. I love it. I didn't. I was speaking to the filmmaker, Joshua Kennedy, who made this film tonight. And I'm telling him, you're going to be on the show. And I'm here, I didn't know what movie to show. And he goes, well, I've got a film called Cowgirls and Pterodactyls. And I said, that would be bloody perfect. Absolutely bloody perfect. She, you know, she could have been a cowgirl on Land of the Lost. I was. I rode the brontosaurus. But she did not have the proper uniform. The, well, the chaps I had and the wallabies. And, <laughs> now, she, you actually were quite Western, though, right? Oh, was I was the, in cords and a the checkered cord. shirt. And the checkered shirt. Yeah. It looked like an Italian restaurant. Right. Yes, it was lovely. With yeah. details. And so your fashion style on that show was what? Mine was a, a blue shirt open down to my navel. It was the 70s, after all. Well, you were a handsome lad. I mean, and a gold chain. Yes. And you feathered had a gold hair. Chain. I had a gold chain. No. I, I wore a gold chain. And the second day of shoot, Marty Croft, Sid Marty Croft produced the show. Right. Marty comes up and goes, what's that around your neck? And I go, it's a gold chain. He says, you can't wear that. I said, Marty, mm -hmm. I was wearing it yesterday. Do you want to refilm everything we shot yesterday? Oh, no, right. He goes, he goes it's all right. Keep it. Right. So did it stay for the entire? It did. It wow. did. Well, I, if I remember correctly, at the time, puka shell necklaces oh, were, huge. were the thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, the the and, yeah. and the turquoise ones, the little turquoise beads. Yeah. yeah. Phil, yeah. Phil Paley, who was Chaka, he made me one when... Uh, oh, he did. He, he used to have a crush on me. <laughs> he used to have a crush on you, but it stopped once he got to know you. <laughs> <laughs> no. no and happened? then later in life, he had a bigger crush on me. No. Well, yes. Why aren't you not married? Because wow. he's a monkey man. That's why, right? <laughs> he was the gorilla sense. her dreams. <laughs> the gorilla? That's, you guys have all the land and lost jokes. You're not going to let me make any, are you? <laughs> no, you're the best ones. All right, well, what do you say we start this film? And then when we come back, <clears throat> I want to see this, this dinosaur head thing you okay, had made. Okay, I brought him. She had something commissioned by, by a dinosaur maker, right? That's right. A dinosaur maker. All right, don't go away. Wonderful film, wonderful guests. And at some point, we'll bring Tangela back too. See you soon. The time was 1864. The place, the Wild West. An unbridled age of heroes and villains, sheriffs and outlaws. A land overflowing with water, game, timber and creatures from a bygone and forgotten age of history. <laughs> Even now, modern scholars refuse to accept the possibility that these events actually occurred. But they did. For an entire year, the Wild West was terrorized by these flying devils from hell. The creatures attacked furiously and without motive. 
they showed no signs of weakness and it was finally proclaimed that they were invulnerable. They were indeed pterodactyls, creatures that no man could stop. Our story begins on a dark and stormy night in the rustic town of Kirksey, Texas, home to the Debbie Dukes Bordello. <laughs> so I could do my sword trick for you. Looking for the man they call the outlaw. They call me the outlaw. Take a seat, partner. Travel more than 600 miles over the Chisos of Chinte Mountains, ahead of all them Miskela, Comanche, and Apache, for four months. Oh, yeah. I got it. Oh, they're beautiful. That they are. That they are. I tell you what. It took a whole hell of a lot to get him here. Well, they said you'd be the man for the job. <laughs> <laughs> I can count on one hand the fellas that could have pulled this off. And I'm counting on you to take that into consideration in full Payment. I reckon you get what's coming to you. Think 
Excuse me. Excuse me, Miss Parker. You're Bunny Parker, aren't you? The, the famous sharpshooter? I was there the day you shot that outlaw, Vincent Demole. Benny Demole. That's the one. You're a legend. <laughs> I was old name. Is that all? Oh, no. You're much more. So much more. What do you want? Well, I just wanted to meet you. Well, you met me. Now go away. Something else? Well, the truth is, ma'am, uh, word around town is that, uh, <laughs> you know. What? Well, I, <laughs> I really don't know how to say it. Say what? Well, ma'am, uh. Is that right? Is that what you heard I do? Well, is it true? Come here. I'll show you. Oh! Is that what you wanted? Is oh! that what you heard I do? Oh! You crazy witch! I'll tell the sheriff! Welcome back to Creature Features. You know, you're a singer. We're going to make up a song called Welcome Back to Creature Features. Welcome back to Creature Feature. <laughs> you know, we have big bands. No yeah. saxophones, though. No, okay, okay. I despise the saxophone. But can we have some dancing girls? And, and some, I love dancing yeah. girls. Yeah. Dancing dancing girl. Girl. <laughs> and uh, she could be like the, what's the front dancing girl called? The, I actually saw, one. Kathy, was, when she was a little girl on Land of the Lost, she was in the Macy's Day Parade. I saw the video. Yes, and she was singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Right. She was doing the Judy Garland role. Right. Standing on the top of one of the big floats. No. It was fabulous. You could find that on YouTube, can you not? Uh, yes, and it's yeah. also like been posted a bunch of times on my right. Facebook page. Right. She's so yeah. adorable. She's still adorable. She's very adorable. You're both adorable still. We're like brother and sister. We I really are. Like, like, we but, really are. We really no. are. You know what? I always said that the Crofts didn't just cast my TV family. They cast my real life family. So you, we have been so close all of our lives. Yeah. And yeah. Well, we're going to talk about those two in a minute. Sid and Marty. Yes. Croft. You know, Croftwork. When did they start a company called Croftwork? Yes, that so would have been nice, right? <laughs> it's yes. the world of Sid and Marty Croft, though, and we are part of that world. <laughs> Croft and word, I, perfect, one sentence, one syllable, two syllable thing. We recently, anyway, let's talk about this movie quickly. So, yes. all we've seen is silhouettes of the pterodactyls. However, I've seen some of this film, and the pterodactyls look like something we'd see in Land of the Lost, oh, which they were them. both in. Yes, we had them. We had. Ah! They were like yeah. flying right. around the land of the lost. Right. Yeah. yeah, and the eggs, the eggs, the slee stack. Instead, instead of pterodactyls, we had slee stack that were hatched. These creatures in right. the eggs. Right. And right. we also had a baby uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Squirt, or whatever his name squirt. was. Squirt. 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 Junior. 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 That's it. All right. Yes. We're going to get into the, the 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 fine details of your show, but you need to finish telling me the story about the elevator. Oh. Okay. So, so start from the beginning so okay. the audience knows what okay, happened. Okay, we're in a hotel. Right. And we are getting ready to leave, but we decide that we're going to, we have an appointment, but we're going to go quickly to Starbucks and grab a mocha frappe. Starbucks is a coffee distribution center in case you don't know. Yeah. Okay, so we go jump in the elevator and there's this man and woman in there and it's mother and son. And... All of a sudden, the elevator door closes, we hit the button, and nothing happens. We're stuck in the elevator, and we're like <laughs> laughing because we know it's going to open in a minute, but it doesn't. Yeah. And so we've now got the fire department on the phone. They're on their way and everything. So you literally stuck. We got oh, stuck in the hotel. Time. Yeah, coming here. So we were stuck, and there were five of us in this thing. And, and it's getting hot, pushing the emergency button. We have the woman talking, the fire department's talking. He's on his cell phone talking to yeah. emergency people. And then all of a sudden, the guy that was with his mom, he says the funniest line ever. We had told him, of course, because we had to do a, a show, too, a live podcast with Sid Cross. We were just about to go on the air live right. on Instagram. Yeah. Right. And so then he says, 
if when this door opens at the if when they get us out of here and the door opens and I see dinosaurs on the other side, he's I'm gonna die. And that Speaking was of which, hot oh. <laughs> <laughs> dopey, hot dopey. Hot dopey. <laughs> That's her puppet being being controlled by someone back behind the couch. Yes. You could possibly I wish guess I had whom. Some, uh, strawberries for you, but I'm. It lands out. It lands out of the elevator, right? Yes. Obviously. So, so we're stuck in there, and Sid Croft's sh- sto- uh, uh, actual show starts on Instagram. So in the elevator, we're live you with Sid it. Croft yeah. in the elevator going, Sid, Sid, the show we're must stuck. Go on. But, yeah, oh my we, we were in You're there. dedicated. You know, we would have brought all this to the elevator had you not gotten out just to finish that show. <laughs> well, they, they were talking to us from the other side of the elevator so and saying, funny. you know, are you guys okay in there? Yeah, it was, oh, oh hello, Dopey. How are you? <laughs> nice so, to see you. <laughs> all right, so glad you got out. Everything went well there. But tell me about this 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 small monstrosity well, that Tangella is operating from he, behind. He, he actually... <laughs> <laughs> he, hi, Tangella. He actually... Um, is responsible for his favorite line in Land of the Lost. Of Which all is my, God. my favorite. Dopey's caught in a tree. Right. He can't get out. He's going, ah, ah, making all this noise. And a Tyrannosaurus Rex Grumpy's going, rawr, rawr, is coming to eat him. Right. And I'm trying to make Dopey move back up right. out of the tree. Right. And I'm, I'm yelling, move back. And Dopey won't. And Dopey's going, ah, ah. And I finally go, do you want to be dinosaur stew? That's and, a and, great line. Yes, and Dopey goes, flips back. It's animated. It goes, flips back, goes, flips back and runs away. It's my so, favorite line in Land of the Lost. So you know what just completely amazed me right now is you use the same sound for Dopey as you do for a pterodactyl. Yes, yeah, so I, I so get confused get, with my do, dinosaurs. Do a pterodactyl. <laughs> now do Dopey. Now do Dopey. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> we need to get back to this film. Yes, we do. All yes. right. So we're going to get back to this film. When we come back, we're going to hear all about Croft Con, right? Oh, yeah. That was a blast. That was a blast. All right. Off we go. Back to cowgirls and pterodactyls. When we come back, we're going to hear about Croft Con. Don't go away, please. Huh. Bunny Parker. Yeah, Bunny Parker. I was there the day that she shot Benny DeMole and saved the town. It changed my life. Well, I hear she's uh, living over in Kirksey now. Kirksey? Oh, I'd love to go and thank her. Thank her? For what? Well, for inspiring me and many other girls like me. She's a great role model. <laughs> a role model? <laughs> What's so funny? Well, she's a drunk now. I'm being serious. I am too. She's a drunk. <laughs> now, uh, Miss uh, Crawford, you wanted to see me uh, leave us about little Jimmy? Yes. I, I don't know how to put this. Um, he's having a little bit of difficulty in class. Well, I'll tell you what, Miss Crawford. Jimmy, he never was the sharpest tool in the shed. But, you know, he's going to be a rancher. He doesn't need to be genius. Now, is there anything else? I'm a busy man. Oh, well, um, actually, yes, if you have a moment, sir. Um, his behavior has been a little unruly. Unruly? Well, no. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Well, <laughs> my mama always told me, spare the rod and spoil the child. She'd say it as she was whacking me. So what you should do, Miss Crawford, is use your switch or whatever you have whenever he gets out of line. never guess where I was. I was down to the schoolhouse. Teacher wanted to talk to me about little Jimmy. I told her, Ms. Crawford, you expect me to do your job and mine? How can I do that? How can I split myself in two and be at the school taking care of Jimmy and being here? Truth of the matter is, Doris, I'd rather be with you. I love watching you, making sure you're comfy. Making sure you're nice and warm in there. Look at this. Doris Yates. Bank robbery, arson. 
public nudity <laughs> and mopery. I had to look that up. You know what mopery is? It's exposing yourself to a blind person. <laughs> That's nuts. You are something else, Doris. <laughs> I'd like to see if you were still so brave if these bars weren't between us. Oh, I think I would. I think if we tangled Doris, I'd come out on top. So what's a girl got to do to get some water around here? Oh, I understand. You're thirsty? Water would be nice. I'd give you some, but be all out. Make one more move and it will be your last. Drop it. Hands behind your head. Would you have any interest in an arrangement that don't involve- Not on your life. Go. Move. Stand where I can see you. Now. Take off your clothes. What? Did I stutter? Take off your clothes. even know how to use one of those things? Shut up. Now... I'm going to... <gasps> it's not even loaded. You know, one of these days you might actually have to learn how to use one of these things. I'm a teacher, not a gunslinger. Settle down, ladies. Settle down. Hey, settle down! <sighs> Profits are way down this year, and we need a gimmick to start bringing people back in. So I'm open to suggestions. Anybody have anything? Okay. What about a horse wash? That sounds complicated. Okay. What if we all come dressed like different kinds of animals? So Sasha here, for example, can dress like a porcupine. I don't think anyone finds porcupine sexy. That's just you. You're a furry. Okay. We could sell tickets to my sword trick. Are you being intentionally slow? Okay, let's hear it. Men like biscuits. I make biscuit. What kind of biscuit? Because that could be multiple things. What about these? What the hell are these? I don't know. I found this bag on the floor the other day. Maybe it will be a good way to bring people in.
Help. What the hell are you doing? What time is dinner? When I'm hungry, I'll let you know. Did you hear that noise? Hello? Anybody out here? Hello? Probably just a tree branch or something. Oh, don't be so jumpy. There it is again. Oh, come on, it's nothing. Go back to sleep. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to the show. Uh, what happened to the land of the lost people? They got lost in the land. No, I think she threatened them with her miniature sickle. Hmm. She's so mean. You know, they come so far away. They came all the way from the land of the lost to sit on that couch. And you shooed them away. You know, she claims this is her couch. It's not. You know, that couch is too big for a tiny person like you. Anyways, uh, we're going to do some mail as they stepped away, probably to go speak to the agents, right? 
I think they're going to make another Land of Lost movie, and I think they're going to star in this one instead of that vile Will Ferrell bloke. Oh. We don't want to see him in Land of the Lost again, do we? All right, how about some mail, Mr. Livingston? I have two cards that represent the Kölner Cathedral in Tr Germany. Oh, no. You, you, you've been I here, have, right? I've been there many times. All right, so let's show the photos first. We've got two postcards. One is this one. They're both from the same bloke, right? From Cologne. From Cologne? Well, he, he's not from Cologne. No, he says he's in San Jose. Yes. Do you know the way to San Jose? I want to spend some time, get peace of mind in San Jose. Which way does this one go? Oh, it goes like this. Yeah. All right, so this one goes like this, and this one goes like this. All right, so this guy, he goes, uh, Vincent Tangella and Mr. Livingston. One movie, Tourist Trap, 1979. And the other one says, Tangella, get these guys to show Tourist Trap from 1979. Thank you. Eric in San Jose. He put his address. Should we read his address on the air? No. Oh. All right. Anyways, thanks for writing. We will look into that. Have you heard of that film, Tom? Tourist yeah, Trap? We'll look into it. I've heard of it. No, you just heard of Tourist Traps because you've lived in many of them. Perhaps. He's like, he wants to turn this place into a tourist trap. I do not. Yes, you do. All right. How are you doing, Mr. Livingston? Somewhat better. Somewhat better? He's peeved because I bickered with him during the commencement. You do bicker. No, you, you bicker with me. You just supposed, If you would just stand there and do the introduction with me, there'd be no bickering. He always has to disagree with me because he always thinks he's right. All right, this one is from Scott Callison in Brentwood, California. Is this the same Brentwood that we lived in? No. Oh, I see, San Francisco Bay Area. You know, in California, there are two Brentwoods. There is one that has an actual zip code, right? This is the one with the zip code. Yes. A postal code. And the other one is a piece of LA, and I think it's just like a neighborhood, right? Yes. Anyways, I had a place in Brentwood, and, um, and then OJ thing happened, and the neighborhood went to pits. So after that, we went to Beverly Hills, right? Unfortunately. No, not unfortunately. It was as nice of you on the hill. Instead of looking at the 405 action. all day. All right. Uh, this is from Scott Callison. He says, Dear Creature Features, Motley Crew. That makes no sense to me. We're not Motley Crew. He's calling us a Motley Crew. Oh, he's using the parochial version of Motley Crew. I, I understand. All right. So, having started my Creature Features journey back in the analog Wilkins era, I was dead set against the very idea of a revival of my beloved late night fright fest. Then I saw your show and was quickly smitten with your unique chemistry and entertaining shenanigans. That's a word I have not heard in some time. Shenanigans. Entertaining? No, sh shenanigans. We ah. are most entertaining. Indeed. We are often called, did you see that? He slipped an insult in on me. That was quite clever. All right. I also really appreciate the Easter eggs from the old show that have made it into the current one, like Vincent's yellow velvet covered chair. All right, the skull and the candle, that, and the Make America Strong Watch Horror Film sign. Um, so this chair has nothing to do with Wilkins' rocking chair, you know. I was thinking of getting a rocking chair, and I sat in one, and I almost fell off. So no rocking chairs for me, and this one just ended up being yellow, so that was a coincidence. The skull and the candle is, uh, I believe it's law. It's legally, you must, if you're a ho horror host, you must have a skull and a candle on your table, right? I believe that to be true. That's, to get the permit to be a horror host, you have to do this. And this one was provided by Tangella. This is some poor bloke she dug up in the cemetery, and she stuck a candle in his head, and she used a Makita drill with a very large bit to make that work. I've seen her do these. You know, if you sold those, you, you could make like $20 each on these. She could be arrested. eBay. What, for the grave robbing portion? Yeah. All right, can't do it. Forget I said it. All right. Uh, in closing, I was wondering if you would consider showing Invasion of the Saucer Men. It's public domain for a reason, but the monster designs are classic. Have we done that one? We haven't, not yet. Well, we should do that one soon. All right, you might get your wish there. All the best to the whole Creature Feature family, both in front of and behind the camera. Scott Callison, Brentwood, California. Say hi to OJ for us, Scott. That'd be funny if he moved from one Brad Wood to the other, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would be quite the coincidence. 
This man has no sense of this humor. This is from Oakland, Douglas Dover. Oakland, California? Yes. Did you say Douglas Dover? It's Cover. 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 What kind of name is Douglas Cover? And he spells Douglas with two S's. All right, let's find out what Douglas has to say in his neatly typed letter. Greetings to Vincent, the host of Creature Features. Thank you. As well as to Livingston, his factotum, who is perhaps also Vincent's major domo, and to the young lady Tangella, who appears to be a ward of the estate. I have become aware after watching your show for some time that you don't appreciate long letters. That's why then I chose to write to you. I decided that I would limit the length of this epistle. I soon realized, however, that in order to come to the end of the letter, I would first have to pass the halfway point in the middle of the letter, but that having passed this point, I would then have to pass a point that was midway between the middle of it and at the end. What in God's name is this man's problem? I think he's giving you a hard time. Oh, all right. Uh, once this midway point was achieved, I would then have to pass another point midway between this point and this culmination of this communication. This led to the realization that there would be an infinite number of midway points to be passed before the end could be reached, making it impossible to ever finish the letter. Rather than send you an interminable missive, I decided it would be better not to write any letter at all, and this is exactly what I haven't done. Doug Cover, Oakland, California. I, you it's know, Doug, I have absolutely no response to this. I, I, I just frankly don't know what to say. It's a philosophical story, actually, about the tortoise and the hare. What in God's name are you talking about? The theory is that the, if the tortoise goes first, the hare has to make up at least half the distance in order to catch up with it. He's but the tortoise mad. is moving. So it just keeps... It's you know... Read it. Doug, please write to Mr. Livingston next time, and then he can read it on the air, and he can explain it as he reads it. Is that it for mail? You, unfortunately, yes. All right. That's it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own, send it to the address you see over here, email. Or if you'd like to send a beautiful postcard through the post, send it to the address you see right here. We'll be right back with the crew from the Land of the Lost. But first, let's get back to cowgirls versus pterodactyls. With an outlaw now on the loose, Sheriff Stephen Winslow had no time to listen to complaints of flying monsters. When asked what he thought of these reports, he went on record as saying, quote, The only thing I'm interested in is proof, hard proof that these creatures are not the result of overactive imaginations. End quote. Unbeknownst to the sheriff, and the citizens of Kirksey, the proof lay hidden in the desk of Deborah Dukes Riley Masterson III. late to be making breakfast. What the hell are you doing here? That's one hell of an egg. Where'd you get that? None of your business. Oh, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at you, drinking half a dozen bottles before noon. That's disappointing. Why? You think I could do more? I bet you I could. Bunny, what's the problem? Come on, Bunny, you can tell me what, what's the problem. I'm gonna make it crystal clear for you. I'm broke. I am so broke. Well, maybe if you cleaned yourself up a bit, quit the drinking. No, 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 no. Look, can't I come work for you? You like hell. What? Why not? Why not? Look at you. Yeah, look at me. I could do it. Your father would turn in his grave. My father is alive. This'll kill him. Just give me one week. That's all I'm asking. I'll give you a night. Fine. 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 Let me tell you something, Bunny Parker. It is not as easy as it looks. Men don't just come waltzing in here from Laredo looking for your loving. Hey! <laughs> 
<laughs> well, look who it is. I just dropped by from Laredo to have me a good time. Today must be my lucky day. It sure is. Oh, come on now. We don't put our goods on display unless they're for sale now, do we? Let's go upstairs. Give me some of that. Of course. I've got a better idea. Mm, I'm sure you do. Come with me. <laughs> that hard-nosed sheriff wants proof. I'll give him proof. Uh, hun, that's my birthday roast. Yeah, you really deserve a big birthday roast after the way you helped me today. Come on, Becca, I told the truth. You honestly don't remember seeing that thing? I hardly remember anything. Well, what do you remember? I remember... The Alamo? <laughs> Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Welcome back to the show. We are watching Cowgirls versus Pterodactyls, and we're learning a bit about the Cowgirls. One of them. Yes, a, Winchester. Woman yeah, of, those repeaters, yeah. Right, but <laughs> she, she had, like, a different job before. Mm. She liked the nightlife. She changed she professions. She liked to boogie. <laughs> she went to the <laughs> oldest profession to the second oldest profession. Gunslingerette. She did the, the boogie second boogie. Oldest profession. I don't know. Anyway, you know, this is, this is a Joshua Kennedy film. And there's always a surprise of some kind. 
mm. in a Joshua Kennedy film. Typically, it's not a good surprise, but so far, this is wonderful. I mean, it's a nice change. It is. I, it's not Land of the Lost. No, but I like. I, I listen. Pterodactyls and, and cowgirls. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. No, I mean, well, that's fun. It does. You know, two two kids in a raft with their dad. How is dad? Is he still alive? Yeah, he's you doing think, well. He's, he's he, well. Yeah, he lives on an estate. What's it, his name? Spencer Milligan. Spencer and he calls Milligan. me to this day. He'll call me. And go, hello, Wesley. This is your. Papa speaking. He speaks that way. Yeah, he does. He does. He does voices and Australian He's accents. Hysterical. He's crazy. He's a funny man. He it's too bad he doesn't like fun. doing conventions. Last time we saw him, he had a puppets. He had some puppets. <laughs> and there was a cow puppet. He's going, Dad, gum it, Sid and Marty Croft. Dad, gum it, Dad, gum it. <laughs> it was like, oh <laughs> it was very Speaking funny. of Sid and Marty Croft, you just did the Croft Con. Yeah. We did. And it was fun. It was, a, there were, so, people turned out in droves. It was the very first time Sid and Marty ever did I couldn't believe it's the first time but it was the first Croft Con and Chris Knight from the Brady Bunch was there because the Cross He's did wonderful. the Brady the Brady right. Hour right? right and Donnie and Marie and stuff like that and we had Butch Patrick who was in Lidsville because he was Eddie Munster. You know, we've had Butch Patrick on this show. Exactly. Yeah. Johnny Whitaker from Sigma the Sea Monster. I like him I've never had him on the show yet. He's wonderful. He's, yeah you'll really like him. You were him. telling me he sings. Yeah. He's a musician. Well, well he I, had an album. Johnny had an album. Johnny had an album, yeah. Yeah. Well, you all had bloody albums. I mean, that was like, it was <laughs> like a true. way to make more money. Album. I tell you, it was a way album. to make more money off I was, face. I, when I first started, I was in a boy band from Motown. Can you believe that? Boy band from, from Motown. Motown. It didn't and go anywhere. With, with her, we, had, we did not even know this until just recently, but we worked for the same record producer. Mike Curb. Mike Curb, who became the Lieutenant Governor of California, the Mike Curb yeah. Congregation, which right. she was That's in. That's what I started when I was 10. And when I was 10, working What's the at connection? the- Wait, well, when Mike, same producer I was in for the Motown, band. Mike Curb. I was me. in his how band. How did this happen? But listen to this one, how coincidental this is. I was at the Riviera, which was a really big hotel back in the day when I was 10. And he was down the street at about the same time at what hotel? When I was later, I used to headline at Harris Hotel. Uh, headline? Yeah. <laughs> I never headlined at Bloody Harris. <laughs> so it was a fun convention. It was a, it was so many people there, and pe and they had all the they had Sigma the Seam. I mean, they had costume balls, and they had uh, uh, puff and stuff was there. The original puff and I stuff love costume. Puff and stuff. Yeah, amazing. Oh, how fun. Yeah. So, do you think this will become a regular thing? It could. It could be. It yeah. could. It was yeah. a huge success. And the actual Sid and Marty Croft. First time. Yeah, they were together, yeah. and and. Uh, they must be a thousand years old. Sid is turning 93 and Marty, I think, is 86. He made a public appearance at 93. Yes. Wow. But the, the coolest thing was that was Land of the Lost was a playground that we played on right. 48 years ago. And this convention little get together thing that we did was like we invited everybody to come to a playground that right they used to play on and we used to play on so we all just played all day long together you you left yeah. your adult problems in life on the sidewalk and when you stepped in it was just playtime we had a ball and if, so did everybody else if only every convention could be like that yeah you know and every because remember every Back, in, back when our show was on, there was only three networks, and every, all the kids would wait until Saturday morning. It was their time, and they, the parents would sleep in or do whatever, and every kid was with a bowl of, of Cheerios or Captain Crunch watching the TV, waiting for their favorite show to come on. And yours was one of the most favorite. Ours was the number one show for NBC, mm. and it was written by the Star Trek writers. Yeah, you'd think they would look back at this and say, you know, this is a formula that worked. Let's try it again. Well, they tried it with the Will Ferrell movie, which, you know, tanked. No, Kathy and I not, actually did a scene with Will. That made fun yeah. of your show. That, yeah. That yeah, like it was a, horrible. Yeah, no, yeah. Was, I, I did not like that at all. In fact, if I ever meet Will Ferrell, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to shake my finger in his face. <laughs> but you I know, promise. he loved the show. You know, it, I don't think it was necessarily his fault. No. It was just the way that they decided to go. Anything he touches tends to, to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> he played a character in a movie before Land of the Lost called Marshall Will and Holly. Oh. Because you know, it's Marshall Will and Holly. Right, so that's the tip of the hat. Yeah. That's nice. Are you right. going to start I, I shall give him a, a small degree of forgiveness based on what you just said. But. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to get back to this film. Uh, when we come back, you guys have something 
interesting to tell me about, right, baby? Yes, yeah. yes, right. yes, cool. yes. <laughs> Here, think of something quick. I, know, I have I no know. idea what to they say. Will. They about. will. They always do. Okay, here's what I've got. I, okay. okay. I was thinking. No, I, no, I don't better. want to tell him that no, story. Are you no, crazy? No, no, no. Oh, We're no, a family no, program. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. It's a family program. We'll, we'll save that all right. one. Off we go back to cowgirls and pterodactyls. Don't go away because this film gets better. The the, the guests get better. I get better. <laughs> it's all improving. It's all uphill from here. See you soon. Well, uh, that's quite the story, ma'am, but you don't have any proof, I see. Proof? It, it took my husband! Yeah, well, uh, more than likely he walked out on you in the middle of the night. That's uh, you a know. load of horse manure, and you know it. I wish I did, Miss Crawford. Good day to you. Sheriff, time is of the essence. We have to act now. Uh, uh, what, what is this we stuff? Look, if you want to find it so badly, why don't you form the posse? Me? Yes, you. If you want to save that, 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 that boyfriend of yours, you're going to have to do it by yourself. No. Hmm. Not by myself. your crotch, George Jameson. That's my least vulnerable spot. I'll certainly have difficulty with so small a target. You'll be sorry. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you behind my tree? I'm uh, uh Re Re Rebecca Crawford, ma'am. I was there the the day that you shot, shot Vanny Vinnie DeMole. Yes. And you were so inspired by my larger than life enterprises that you just had to come see me in the flesh. Is that it? Well, I maybe. Well, I'm human, just like you, and I can do anything else that any other human can do. Is that such a shock? No, you're so much more than that. You're my hero. What do you want? Well, I, I actually want to hire you for an assignment. I am not a manhunter anymore. Those days are over. What about a dinosaur hunter?
flew south out towards the canyons. I think it has a nest there. And you want me to avenge the death of your beloved, is that it? No, he's still alive. I just want you to help me bring him back. Well, that is quite the challenge. I've seen you shoot. This should be easy compared to Vinny DeMol. Easy? You call this easy? Yeah. Vinny DeMol was a midget with an itchy trigger finger. This is entirely different. Not for Bunny Parker. All right, look, I know that you've been having some trouble lately, but maybe this is the job to put you back on top. Why should this drunken has-been help you? Because this drunken has-been happens to be my hero, and this hero deserves to ride again. these them? Sure are. Pterodactyl eggs. Now what the hell is a, terra, a pterodactyl? Half bird, half snake, and all devil. We'd like to return the eggs to its mama and rescue my husband. <laughs> You're joking. The only reason why she's attacking is because her eggs have been stolen. So you're gonna waltz into this bird's house and you're gonna ask it nicely to trade your husband for some of its eggs. In a nutshell, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're doing this, I want in. Really? You'd stick your neck out for me? No! <laughs> I don't even know you! <laughs> no, no, if this thing is as big as you say it is, I'm gonna stuff it and put it in my parlor. You're gonna stuff it? Wouldn't that be something? And if you let me come with you, I'll give you access to the best chest in the West. The best chest in the West. I was expecting something entirely different. Where did you get all these? When our boys can't pay in cash, we get them to pay with something just as valuable. Well, they're very nice. So what do you say, ladies? Can this beautiful young businesswoman accompany y'all on your adventure? Every journey starts with a first step. May the good Lord be with us. Onward. Wait. What is it? We're walking? Is that a problem? We don't have any horses. Do you see any horses? Oh, no, 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 no. This will not do. Well, what do you suggest? You'll feel worse after a day of walking. These horses will get us there in half the time. Bunny, you're supposed to be the voice of reason. Please tell me this is a bad idea. This isn't a bad idea. See? Wait, do you mean that? Or are you just repeating what I said? <sighs> Damn it. Thought I kept this thing unlocked. There's it. No, it doesn't. Debbie, what the hell are you doing? Do so quick! You wouldn't harm a 
beautiful young woman and her two friends now, would you? Two friends? Especially since all we wanted to do was buy some of your fine horses. You got cash? Not exactly, no. But, but, I'm sure we could come to some alternate form of payment now, can't we, Mr. Wilkinson? Now, how much did you say those horses were worth exactly? Hey Vincent, this is Jean from Dalton, Georgia, and we love your show here in the Peach State. Can you please play Fiend Without a Face, the greatest horror movie ever made. Thanks, Tell Tangela and Livingston High. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Miss Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Show me your boot. That is incredible. My goodness. You know what? The last time. Did they make time, them in man size? Um, they could. They could. They, well, of course they could. Do they? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I think they Women have the best boots in the world, men. I what really, do we get? I, I'm yes. glad that you like these because these are my favorite. They, and, and they, they look comfortable as well. They're super comfortable. Are you done Amazing. ooing and aahing over no, them? one more <laughs> second. Welcome to another episode of Kathy Coleman's Boots. Tonight we're looking at uh, this wonderful pair of brown and black. I don't know what, but the, the, they're fantastic. And uh, yes. no, I, I would buy women's boots if I could. Yeah. But they never make up my size. You know, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping one day I could like say, I'm a very large woman. Is it possible <laughs> you have a size 12? And just put your hair up on top of your head. That would be nice. Right, no, no, no. I, I've been called ma'am before. It would not be the first time. It would not be the first time at all. Yep. Welcome back to the show. We are watching Cowgirls vs. Pterodactyls with the wonderful Kathy Corman and Wesley Yore, who were formerly on Land of the Lost. Really quick on this movie. The school teacher's school husband. Teacher. <laughs> what do you call a school teacher's Whoosh. husband? <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoosh. Bird bait. <laughs> well, she's a mom, right? What do you call the husband of the marm? The mom, it's a, uh, uh, the marmalade. The marmalade. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> you know, we could go several directions with that one. I, I absolutely, like that. yes. No. yes Lady he's, marmalade. He's, I think you missed your calling. You should have been a comedy writer. Really? I, I, yeah. I, I hear something. What? 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 There it is. <laughs> when opportunity knocks, open the door. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of opportunity, I want to hear, you know, we've heard her story twice about how she did the whole oh. Land of Lost thing and how she felt as a young woman right. being portrayed as, like, the, 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 the most, most 
attractive woman on oh, God. Saturday here, morning. Here we go again. All right, right Kathy. I, no. can I, I, tell you, can I just say, say something? If, and when we do these shows, conventions, if I had a nickel for real, if for every little boy that comes up and says, "You were my first crush," I had. But the they aren't little boys you. anymore. They're I know. Yes, they're older men. Yes, and my they goodness. still come up and go. Uh, hey, 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 have you had any proposals? <laughs> There's a story behind that laugh. Well, 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 think of some of the characters in the movie we're watching tonight. So all just right, that's right, all I'm right, going to say. All right, all yes. right. Nope. They've been, been there's said. been a few pterodactyls. Right. Oh my goodness! All right, enough said. So I want to hear the same story from you. So you're a young man. I was on Days of Our Lives. I was playing Mike Horton, which I did for about a decade. And they were a both decade. A decade. My goodness. And they were both NBC shows, and right. NBC let me do both shows. So in the mornings, I would film all my scenes on Days of Our Lives. For three years, it went on. Right. And everybody on the soap opera hated me because I got to right. go in in the morning and do all my scenes and leave. They had to wait around for me to finish. So in the morning, I'm crying that my girlfriend is you know, leaving mm. me. The mafia is after me. I'm, I'm having all these problems and all this stuff. And then I, in the afternoon, I'm on you Land of the Lost. You just became that character for a moment. I did. Did I you did. see that? <laughs> that was amazing. It's, it's like... It's like he turned the character on. Yeah. This man's an impressive it's, actor. It's the, it's the overacting in me. And, uh, That's wonderful. All right. But so. so in the morning, I'm crying about my girlfriend and stuff, all that. And then I run over to, to the Hollywood studio. And I, so in the morning, I'm crying. In the afternoon, I'm going, run, Holly, run. There's a Pakuni and a dinosaur. And, 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 and that, was my, that was my schizophrenic thing. So it was, you know, crying in the morning. How did you survive that? Listen, it was He's a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I would have gone mad. It was the best. I had, listen, I was the luckiest guy in the world. I'm a little kid from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, that suddenly found myself in this world. Right. That, and, you know, my family were all educators. And th when I tell them I wanted to be an actor when I was five, they go, <laughs> yeah, right, really? And, and well, here you I showed was. them. Yeah. And, but it was amazing. I mean, I, I just was so lucky. I really was. So I, who did you go up against when you auditioned for that program? Land lost. Nobody. Nobody. They said we want Wesley. That's, That's it. Right. It's that what happened. That's nice. I went to Not a me. pool party. You I, had to I, fight. Went, I was invited to a pool party at Sid Croft's house. I didn't know Sid. I right. just got into Hollywood. One of my best friends was his friend. He said, We're going to Sid, Sid Croft's house. Uh, who? Uh, okay. And I walked into Sid's. We're by the pool. And Sid comes up to me and he goes, I've got a new show. We're auditioning on Monday. Here's the casting director's name. Call her on Monday. You're coming in. And Sid just what? said, I, I, I walked in the door, NBC said, that's the guy. And I didn't have to audition anymore, and they cast everyone around me. That's why Spencer Milligan, who played that's my dad, fantastic. looks like me. Wow. And I read with Kathy, uh, she came in, I think, six times, right? Seven. Seven, yeah. seven times. And I'm like my third one, I went in and I had worked with Phil once before. Who's Chaka. Chaka. Right. And he's sitting in the office, and I was like, what are you doing here? And he goes... I'm auditioning for this show called Land of Lost. I'm fun. like, no way. And they, listen, the best story about these guys, listen, Phil and Kathy had played brother and sister in a commercial right. for Cheez-Its like a few years before. And they're in a Volkswagen thing sitting in the back of the seat and their parents are driving the car and they sing a song together. Have I ever sang it for you? No. Can we? Go. Go. Okay, you okay, you're going to help me? I'll see if I can remember, this is Phil's part. Remember, right. they're, they're, remember, they're like three. Five and six year old kids, right? Right. Okay. So, so here we go. Okay. Okay. I like munching. I like crunching. We like eating Cheez Its. Great cheese taste in every bite. We, we like, like eating Cheez Its. So I like munching. I like crunching. We like eating Cheez Its. I love the wild taste of cheese. More Cheez Its, please. They're great crunching crackers. I have no response to that. that. No, that was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And you can see it if I, you, on YouTube. You can find the two of them actually doing this commercial. That is incredible. We're going to try to find this. All right, what do you say we get back to this film? Okay. Uh, yes. And we come back, uh, perhaps you'll do another jingle for us. Uh, ah. Would we'll you see. like to look at my boots some more? Yes. She has soul. She yeah. has wonderful soul. Yeah, She's got she two does. of them. Two of them. All right. Let's get back to cro uh, crocodiles. I almost said crocodiles. Let's get back to <laughs> cowgirls versus pterodactyls. And uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to have more fun with Wesley and Kathy. Don't go away.
Hold your horses, I dropped my hat. <laughs> okay, now let's go. your first lesson as a shooter school teacher. First, take note of your surroundings. When the sun casts long shadows, the man will seem much farther than he appears. At noon, the sun will be directly overhead and the man will seem much closer. Well, how, how close is too close? You'll see too much of him. You'll see how he sweats. You'll see how he blinks. And when you take time to see all that, he'll kill you. See everything and see nothing. All right, aim the gun. Look down the barrel of the gun and gently squeeze the trigger. Well, I guess we'll be leaving the shooting a bunny. No, no. Give her a chance. Well, I'm moving. I don't want to be hit by friendly fire. Well, you know, maybe maybe I'd just be better off with a rifle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You see this rifle? See it. Smell it. Touch it. Kiss it. Kiss it. This here rifle is Dave. You can see him. You can smell him, you can kiss him, but no one, and I mean no one, shoots Dave except for Bunny Parker. Whatever you say. You really are devoted to that husband of yours. He's all I've got. I hate to ask this, but what if he's dead? He isn't. Yeah, but what if he is? He isn't. Yeah, well, what if he is? He's alive and I know it. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Where's my green bag? What green bag? The green bag with all the food in it. I could have sworn. Wait, you didn't set it down when we were stealing the horses, did you? No, of course not. Let's put that statement to the test, shall we? God, a 
most important satchel and she leaves it this behind. This isn't my fault. And whose fault is it, Deborah? Whose fault Shut is up, it? Shut up, bunny. I don't need you to call me Deborah. You pack whiskey, you don't pack food. If anything, it's anything but our fault. If you would have got horses for us in the first place, we wouldn't have had to steal these. Oh, then you wouldn't have forgotten our food, is that it? Yes. I figure we have about three days until we reach the canyon. Well, I'm going home. Like hell you are! Well, what do you suggest, Miss Crawford? We starve to death halfway there? We'll find food along the way. Oh, sure. Manna from heaven will fall into our laps. No, I say we go back, we stock up, and we come back later. Robert might be dead by then. He might be dead by now, babe. Knock it off! What if we ate one of the eggs? Debbie! I mean, we have a bunch of them. It won't even miss them. Oh, I'm sure that'll make the mama real happy. I know the mama doesn't eat her own eggs. A mother wouldn't eat her own children. A human mother? But we're talking about a terra... A terra... A terra... A pterodactyl. Much obliged. Give me that. Yo! Like hell, buddy! Help me out here! I agree with Debbie on this one. What?! <laughs> now look what you did. So help me God if you... Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Come on, Mr. Livingston, it'll be fun. It's just a quick photo. You just act like you're going over the waterfall, you put your hands up in the air, you scream. Waterfall? And we just, yeah, it, we're just pretending. You just go over the waterfall, you throw your hands up in the air, and you scream. You got Captain Billy. Grumpy Pants here. Oh, I know. Come on. Waterfall? It's not that bad. Come on. Okay? Grumpy. It's a come great on. picture. They come out wonderful. You'll love it. I won't all right? love it at all. No, you will. <laughs> you will. You'll love it. It's fun. Mr. Livingston, you have to put the yellow. Oh, no, no the life jackets you have to put on. It's, it, it's safe going over the waterfall, and I'm telling you, it'll be a beautiful fashion statement. Yeah. You'll love they it. Lo They'll love it. Please, please, sir, let me because we are not responsible if you drown. Okay? Yeah. So put this on. Go. There we go. There I'll we get go. the raft with you guys. Okay. And this is on Land of the Lost. You see a waterfall. Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine okay. expedition. at the greatest of the great cat I've ever known. High on the rapids, it struck their tiny raft and plunged them down ah, a thousand feet below. Like, ah! Hey, hands in the air, like ready? Okay, Andrew, come on, hey, come on, Holly. Let's Tangella, go. come on, come get in the rock. Yeah, come on, come, come on, on. Right, it's fun. Here we go. Come so, on. okay, ready? One, one two, three. Get in the rock. Yay! Whee! Like okay. you're the waterfall, whee. right, Andrew? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. 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 Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hop in! Hop in with us. We got Bruno in here. Hop in. Go! Whoa! 
Oh no! Oh no! 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 Uh, oh no! 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 Time to jump. Uh, oh, no! Not a wrap. Oh no! Is that no. mean we're done? playing nursemaid to that thing? Could you possibly shoot us something to eat before I knock off my arm in starvation? Have you seen any wildlife this morning? Someone or something scared them off. I can't take this anymore. Ugh. Oh yeah. What do you think you're doing? I really wouldn't do that if I were you. Don't do that. I'm hungry. Do you even know what those are? Fairies. They're gonna make you sick. Nah. You're I gonna got iron constitution. You're gonna delay us like two hours. Why? What's gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. The stupid lady had to go in and eat those poisonous berries after we told her not to and delay us four hours! No, Terry, Terry, no! No! Terry! He'll never come back! No, I think he will. Here, give me Debbie's coat. Hey, Terry! 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 Come on, boy! Come on! Come on! Hey, how'd you do that? Do you ever see a bullfight? Yeah, so? Well, you know, the matador holds a red cape and then the bull charges. So? I think that the same principle could be applied here. <laughs> Ladies, I have come to the very difficult decision. I'm going home. You know, we're not gonna last much longer if we don't get some food. Something will turn up. The odds are on our side. You really are something. You all smell that? Someone's cooking chicken. Not here, girl. No, I'm serious. Why don't you go back to bed? No, wait. I smell it too. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? It's my fault we're in this mess. Don't worry, I'll cover you. Not to worry, ladies. My methods are much simpler. Oh, not again. Well, hey there, boys. You boys wouldn't be willing to help me and my friends get a little dented for tonight, would you? Well, what's in it for us? Well, she's got guts. A lot of guts. What's she gonna do with both of them? So, what do you say? What do I say? <laughs> what do you think I say, Debbie? Come on out, girls. We thought you needed a hand, so we came to help you out. Um, we track these winged beasts to their cave all the way down at the bottom of that cliff. And we picked up a friend along the way. Come on out, Doris! Come to 
think of it, we should have just let you think we were men. <laughs> Could have added some fun. <laughs>
so sick of this. Eat this, scum! Look out! Hit the deck! This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back. You are watching Creature Features, and on Creature Features, we are watching Cowgirls versus Pterodactyls. And we are joined by the cast of Land of the Lost. Wesley, yes. what do you think of this film? <laughs> The, the the guns, the pistols, they look like the little cap guns I had back in like the 50s and 60s, you know? The they little... might have been. <laughs> exactly. Now, High is budgets. this a low-budget film? <laughs> if you could believe that. Yeah, our viewers may not know that this was a low-budget film. I mean, the cost of, of feeding those pterodactyls alone on the yeah. line must have been enormous. Yeah. I mean, my goodness. Right. Yeah. And He's you know right. cowgirls can eat like crazy. Yeah. Cow yeah, they, but, you know, they, they wouldn't be cowgirls if they couldn't eat, right? I mean, yes, I mean, all the dinosaurs we had at Land of the Lost, the studios, they were they, you know, they stepped on the cars in the parking lot. It, was, it wasn't right. pretty, you know? Yeah. You know, I, I, would, I would love to have a pet dinosaur. And I'll tell you why. It'd be the only animal on this property that would keep Tangella in check. Mm. Maybe. It'd have to be the big one. The Tyrannosaurus mm. Rex, right? Yes. Grumpy. What was his name? Grumpy? Grumpy. Yeah. Grumpy. Grumpy. So I heard you guys at conventions sing your theme song. Oh, okay. A billion times. <laughs> Come on. You, you've got to do it for our, our audience. Oh. And they've probably most likely already heard us yeah. if they showed up at any of our yeah. conventions. You could come yeah. on, you could do it. We, <laughs> we hear, shut up, shut up. No, oh, do, it, do it, do it, every do it. Every celebrity that's sitting next to us, like Lou Ferrigno or somebody will be sitting next to us, and they'll hear this song over and over. They go, could you please keep it down? Well, I have not heard it, so I will not say such a thing. Unless okay. you guys the first do it. one, the right. opening. First, opening, right? okay, let's, uh, let's do it quickly, right? Okay. <laughs> 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 Marshall, <laughs> Will, and Holly on a routine expedition met the greatest earthquake ever known. High on the rapids, it struck their tiny raft. Ah! Plunged them down a thousand feet below to the land of the lost. To the land of the lost. And then Grumpy goes, roar. And the closing goes, when I look all around, I can't, I can't believe, believe the things I've found. Now I need to find my way. I'm lost, I'm lost. Find me living in the land of the lost, 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 lost. Living in the land of the lost. Sid and Marty Croft. And he always goes starring Wesley. Come on, you guys. Give him a hand. That was wonderful. Thank you. I actually sang those songs on the on the TV series. Did you really? Well, I did. I just. Did you know that? That's unbelievable, isn't it? That's the first time. You know, you're both harmonizing. You must practice, like on the bus on tour. No, we've only done this maybe. I don't know. Eight billion times. Eight billion times. So I've seen you at conventions more than once, and you know, of all the booths and and tables. Yours is always the most entertaining. Because we interact with the fans. We take them on a routine expedition. We do. We There's nothing routine at all about it. We well, bring it's our routine. Sleeze sleaze right. heads, which I know Kathy brought for another show once. That was wonderful, the right? The green sleeze deck heads. Right. We bring skulls and all sorts of wonderful things. Uh, you know, 
and those are just props. It's you that make it, it seems, by, you know, being so nice to these people and you actually play with them. But you well, know it's what? a win-win, you know. It's yeah. no fun to just sign an autograph and go, thank you, and then the next one, that's boring. Right. So we no. play or if you're like play. Lou Ferrigno, who's like <laughs> Mr. Grumpy, he should, <laughs> no. he should put a grumpy nice. dinosaur suit on <laughs> because he's always so grumpy. At Dragon Con, Lou sat next to us for five days, and the first two days he was like, uh, who are these people? Like, rah, rah, rah. A lot of right. celebrities right. feel but that by, way But by first. the third day, because he saw all the fans, and they were so emotional, and, and we were getting – lots of people were coming up, and he finally went – so tell me about who you guys are. And he finally realized who we were from Land of the well, Lost. Well, he should. And he became one of our, he became such a pal. Oh, he we did? Had more fun. Right. Yes, we had a great time. Yeah, with they, all the celebrities feel at the beginning like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this all day with these guys. <laughs> but then they, you, you see it happen. They transform into this other thought process of if I can't beat them, join them. Right. So yeah. they'll even do the, ah, oh, yeah. when we go over We that. were in Dallas with the Back to the Future cast. The reunion of Back to the Future, all the cast right. of Back to the right. Future. And finally by... By the middle of the second day, we go, uh, I read it, and then the down a thousand feet below, and the entire room of celebrities would go, ah! My goodness. <laughs> it was How great. fun. <laughs> How fun. Well, what do you say we uh, wrap up this film, and then uh, we find out what you guys are doing next? Great. Sounds good. Okay. Good. All right. Off we go back to Cowgirls versus Pterodactyls. I wonder how it's going to end. I'm so scared. Me too. See you soon. Rebecca Crawford, school teacher and devoted wife. Her friends, dead from an explosive and fatal dinosaur attack. Alone, with nothing but a stick of dynamite, a metal bucket, and some string. And yet, Rebecca Crawford hatches a plan. A plan so remote, so implausible, that it fringes upon insanity. But it could work. For her husband, it's got to work.
distracted. And when it comes this way, you pull the string. And then what? Terry will take care of the rest. Uh, who the heck is Terry? What if it doesn't work? It will work. There's four bullets left, but I think the powder is down. We're not going to need it. Just in case? Come on, Terry. When you see the red paint, you got to do your stuff, okay? Come on, we're all counting on you.
This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. You think you can shoot it from here? I can't. I've hurt my hand. But I know someone who can. You can do it. We need a new hero. There's only one hero in my book. I'm sorry there's no carcass for you to display, Debbie. I have a better idea. And thus, it was done. Reunion, reward, and redemption for our heroes. And for Doris Yates and the girls at the bordello, who did not die. A chance for rejuvenation. What can I do for you, love? Uh, yeah, uh, can I get some mulberry? You've got five minutes. All right! I've been dying for one of these. All right, you, you've got to help me out here. Uh, I'm blind. I'm done. Now, didn't I tell you my sword trick would save the day? Didn't I? If you knew the drama that this caused... Let's be honest, if it wasn't for my slip-up with the dynamite, would we even be here today? You're absolutely right! Thank you. Can we get more whiskey? And that's how I lost this here eye. Now I'll never look at anything the same way again. Jameson. Oh, that's right. We never did get to make up now, did we, honey? No, we sure didn't. Mm. I got you some. Oh, oh how thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, honey. Sick him, Terry! No, no, wait, wait, wait! Get off! And so brings the rocks down on cowgirls versus pterodactyls. What do you think of this film, Tangella? You like it? Why? Oh, yeah. You know, she likes all of Joshua Kennedy's films. No, yeah, well, they're all like wonderfully ridiculous. Is is what they are. So that's what's, it's not the typical slop we serve here. This is quality compared to what we typically show. So this is nice. And then I think she liked it because of the whole explosive thing. Yeah, mm. she's got a degree in explosives. <laughs> she, she knows how to, She can blow anything up. If you need something blown up. <laughs> yeah. uh, we bring a raft to the show. <laughs> Maybe by Instagram. <laughs> oh, well, you know, we had that little incident with a raft. We won't talk about no, that. No, no, no blowing up. No, no, no. more blowing no, up no, rafts. No, it needs to be blown up every time. Oh. That's the kind of blow up, yeah, not she's, explode. She's quite the yes, yes, yes. yes. Quite the I particularly man. want a Terry. I would like to have that as a pet. And right. I'd like some little, the little pterodactyl. Right, that would, right. Yeah, yeah that'd yeah, be kind of nice, be, I think, yeah. Until it grew into a big one. It'd be like these people have pet baby uh, alligators, alligators right. and they flush them down the Ex toilet. Exactly. Right. That's a, uh, I never did this, but this is a, a story I've read. That's why they're they so many in Florida. In the, and in, the, in New yeah, York they, City, they, 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 they were in on. the, the right. underground. Right, right. Can you imagine? No. You, you you go down in the sewage system to have a nice day, and there's a bloody <laughs> yeah. alligator. Yeah, know. that's what I want to yeah. do. Oh, yeah. Let's go I'll have a big I'll, Yeah, I yeah. can't wait. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about you guys. What are you guys doing next? You first. Uh, I, I, I just, I've executive produced a new documentary with a famous ghost hunter called Ross Allison and a scientist, Chad Goodwin, who has the patent for the flux capacitor. No. And it's called Parasense, The Naked Experiments. And it's a scientist developing new technologies to prove touch with ghosts. And the results are startling. We have two people that are actually, you see their, their skins before the, the, the experiments in an abandoned prison in Tennessee and the blood that gets scratched. It's, it's frightening. This is more frightening than this film. Ah. <laughs> Maybe we should have watched that tonight instead of uh, Cowgirls. So uh, you, you say you produced this. Yes, I did. How wonderful. 
When's yeah, it coming out? It's out now. It's on Scare Network, and and uh, but we just had it in a couple of theaters in Portland. And, Sca- there's and something called Scare Network. Yeah, it's brand new that I just found. Do you out suppose about. they might use, uh, could use a horror host show <laughs> program of some kind? <laughs> uh, Scare. That's where we should be, right? Scare Network. I think that would be a great well, idea. Well, you know, we tried the Hallmark Channel, and they said that we were not quite the right fit. Yeah, I oh, think so. No, no. What about you, Miss Coleman? What are you going to do next? Well, we have a couple of shows lined up. I imagine you have many shows lined up. Well, we have we have a couple of like weekend shows, and then we have a show later on in the year that we do, and it's like our summer camp, and right. uh, we bunk together. We even, do. And, How fun. And it's the like, best of her seven years. I mean, people think, do you really like each other? <laughs> and we actually, for a whole week, every year, we, we get two queen beds. And we have the best time. We laugh oh, and giggle all night and laugh. And in Las Vegas. How wonderful. Yeah, for Star so Trek. Yeah, keep, that Star keeps Trek us movie. busy. Right. right. Yeah, so. yeah. And of course, conventions all day long. But in her all book, I mean, her book is, is, is doing real well. And she's oh, been that's right. no, that's talking and book. lecturing around the country for Run, Holly, Run. Right. Which she stole my line, by the way. I did not. No, yeah, she did. No, he I gotta tell you. No, wait, wait. always trying to one-up me. No, this Always trying to one-up me. So... And, and in Land of the Lost, we, she got, because I was older, so at the end of every scene, I'd make sure I was the last person to leave the scene, and I would oh, be running the scene, horrible. and I would do the final look to get like, the look. He right? would push me in the bushes. And she caught, on, she caught on with, about the second year. Right. So when her book came out, you know, Run, Holly, Run by Kathy Coleman, right. she handed me, said, look, Wesley, look at my book. And I go, Kathy, I have top billing. Because on the top of the book, it's the quote that I had for Kathy's book. Right. Like my, it said, it's a quote. Blurb. Yeah. It's a blurb for the review. And it said, Wesley Ewer. And it's a little print, but it's the top billing. I said, for the Once rest again. of your life, I will have top billing on your book. My goodness. It's just always <laughs> pushing me in the like bushes. He's cruel like an actual big brother. He's always pushing me in the bushes. He's an actual big brother. Yeah, yeah. he is. <laughs> How wonderful. He would turn around and look at the camera and say his last line, and you'd see me falling into the bushes. <laughs> Until I got smart. My she goodness. did. She, maybe she remember, she, she's 12 years old, so by the time she's 13, she, she's got my game. And she, and she would try to, then she would try to push me away. Oh, look, there's a, di- look, Will, Will, there's a dinosaur. And yeah, we, we need to have both of you back, because we're only getting a small portion of the story here. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Right, no, well, I thought I knew the half of it, well, with you on. Yeah. Of course, some of we can say it's court ordered, but that's a whole other story. Oh, no, we oh. just get how about some story. websites? How do, how do people learn more if they uh, want Wesley to like your, use a computer? E-U-R-E.com. Wesley Your. E-U-R-E, and uh, dot com. Facebook, and, and oh, my, everything, Twitter, right. and, and Instagram. And then you have one as well, right? Yes, I'm on Facebook, what? and no, I'm Facebook. on Twitter. You don't have like an official website i probably you know what i am not the most tech savvy person you, you should I, not be you should not need to be you're an author an actress i, I like more technical the guru things. is not fit into that description no. and i make right? a lousy secretary well, no. <laughs> your talents lie in in being holly and running from and him I just, and I, I gotta tell you the third season we lose our dad the first episode there's we after lost shock. our dad after shock and oh. kathy's crying and i just saw the episode and you forget what an amazing actress she was as a kid. And she's bawling in this scene. And I, 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 you can't help but sob. If you, if you, if you get Land of the Lost, see the third season, the first episode, watch the performance of this amazing actress. It's really extraordinary. Well, I think you're both amazing. And oh, yeah. you better come back on the show next time you're in the area, yeah, right? And by the way, I love your house. This is the most extraordinary house I've ever you, been You in. know, we were thinking of turning it into a museum. Oh. And we did like a small test drive. And she started injuring the guests. So we, we're going to try something different. We're going to try something different. But thank you for the wonderful compliment. All right, you two. Thank you again very much for coming on the show. And uh, hopefully we will thank you for having us. see you again soon. As well as you guys go, I hope you had fun tonight. I know I did. I know Tangela did. Maybe these two did. We'll soon find out. In any case, thank you so much for watching the show. We will see you next week. Different guests, different movie. Don't know who. Don't know what, but it'll be fun. We love you. See you next time. So, uh, Land of the Lost people, I've got a plan, an idea. If we were to make another Land of the Lost film, do you think there'd be like a place in this film for a character like me? (laughs) We don't have any rock stars in the Land of the Lost. Just rocks. Rocks.